How did you get hurt? I broke my neck when I was backcountry skiing. That's why I have the scar right there. Because I, I crashed and I just broke my neck and then my friend that was with me helped me get safely to the hospital and they put me back together and got me a wheelchair. Why did you need a wheelchair? Because your spinal cord is in in your spine, right? Oh, so you, so it's kind of like you broke your neck and your back. Right, just like that. And so now when I think to move my legs because I broke my neck, my legs don't get the message. So they don't move. Like when you think to move your legs, see? How did you get hurt? I fell 23 feet and I landed on a railing across my abdomen and I flipped over one another eight feet down the ground. Yeah. So yeah, it was just uh, kind of a freak accident. I tripped up in a stairwell and went through a poorly placed window. But that was almost 20 years ago now. What do you feel in your legs? I have pretty good feeling down to my knees, mm -hmm. but below my knees, um, I have some sensation, but it's not real acute. Like if you poked me with something sharp, I'd feel it, but I wouldn't know it was sharp. How did you break your back? Well, I broke my neck, actually, um, not my back. So I broke right up here. It was the fifth vertebrae down. And then I broke the fifth one, and it shattered, and um, I did it in a skiing accident. So I didn't have my helmet on. That's why we got to wear our helmets, so we're safe but I slid into a tree and it broke my neck and I was instantly paralyzed from my chest down. I couldn't use my hands, I couldn't use my legs, I couldn't sit up anymore. I was never supposed to walk again. And then the, 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 um, those snow machines had to kick. The snow machines? The ski patroller had to come get me and he took me down the mountain and then I was greeted by a helicopter and the helicopter flew me to the hospital. It was a scary and it was an emergency. How do you ski? How do I ski? I ski with regular skis, just like you ski on, except my skis, my poles, have little skis on the end of them too. So I actually am skiing with four skis. It's called four tracking. And it's one of my favorite things to do. And do you ski? I went skiing yesterday. And how do you ski? No, like you, like how? normal. Well, what's normal? I don't even know what normal is anymore. I ski just with two skis. With two skis? Mm -hmm. Do you use poles? Mm -mm. No poles? Because we're practicing in our lessons already. and we can, and we But when we grow up, we can use poles. So you ski too? Yeah. Me too. Me too. That's something we all have in common. I have a special ski that I can sit down in, and then they strap little miniature skis to my arms. And then I can go ski in on the same mountain as you. I think I've seen that before. Yeah? What'd you think of it? Um, I just thought it was pretty cool. Pretty cool? How do you ski? I've got a sit ski. Um, have you seen a sit ski at all? Mm, I think maybe once. So basically I've got um, a carbon fiber bucket yeah. and then I ski on one ski uh -huh. and I've got a suspension under it and it's kind of in between a motocross and a BMX suspension. Sounds cool. Yeah. Do you like using the, like the walker thing? The first time I got to stand up in it and walk bending my knees instead of um, walking with my knees locked. Yeah. It was just, it felt right. 
Yeah. And it had been 17 years since I'd done that. So it was pretty amazing. I'll tell you, it was good to feel tall again. Because huh. I'm, I'm a pretty tall guy and uh, I don't get to stand up enough. So I use it uh, for, for a couple things. One's to keep me straightened out and one's to help keep my bones nice and strong. You got any interest in seeing me get up? Sure. All right. Is it hard to like walk in those or like? It took a little while to get used to the, what it's gonna do next. And you can adjust how long of a step you take. You can adjust how quickly it takes the step. Um, you can adjust how fast the knee's bending out. And then it's got some um, ankle flexion in it too. Cause I can almost stand without crutches at all on this thing which is amazing. And just the first time I took a step, I was like, well, that's what I was supposed to be doing years ago. <laughs> it was awesome. But did you guys get to see all this down here? And um, you have so much of painting things. Yeah, yeah, it goes on. There's one, two, three on each side. Yep. One on each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, That's and then this eight. one holds around my belly so the back stays on. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is called the indigo. See? Mm -hmm. And that's so cool because walking is so difficult for me. But in this, I can go anywhere. And that's just, it's just so fun. It's freedom. I mean, there's not very many places that have robots like this. Have you ever seen a robot like this before? No. <laughs> Do you guys know anybody that has to be in a wheelchair or that has difficulty walking like me? No. No, mm -mm. no this is the first time we you- We just saw people, but we don't know them. Yeah. But you don't know them? Did you guys see me walk? before without the robot? Mm -hmm. And then you saw me walk with the robot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which way did I walk better? Uh, that way. With the robot on? Mm -hmm. What did you notice? You were standing, standing up, up straighter. straighter. I was. Oh, that's good feedback. <laughs> so everybody's kind of the same. It doesn't matter really if you have a disability or not. It's just about, you know, being, being good, being, feeling better getting out on the mountain, living the, your life. Want to see me do a cartwheel? 